Greetings, brothers, sisters, friends, and foes. It's Bill from Agape on the Streets. Wow. I hope today was everything coming to a head and that tomorrow's easier. Uh, it was an incredibly crazy day today at work. I was just talking to a few people back and forth on the phone and on text. I had just got off work. Telling them easily, easily, this is the toughest thing I've been through besides the fire uh, that started at the radio station on Catalina Island in 2007. So I'm sitting here in the car, in the truck lot, in front of the trailer, and I'm so sore I can hardly get out. So I'm going to give you a little explanation of what happened today. Um, by the way, this is where I stay. Um, I don't know if you can see, but there's just there's just trucks everywhere. Right now, it's not that full. Um, at night, this place just packs out, and it's pretty noisy. Um, not easy to sleep because you got refrigerator trucks. Uh, is a lot of them leave their engines on because they got their TVs and stuff going inside. But uh, I'm, I'm doing okay with it. I'm doing okay. It's a free place. It's here. Praise God for that. Um, so, we're really going through it at work. Uh, major water main broke three days ago. Couldn't find it on any of our drawings. The city, the county, everyone had got involved. Here we are three days later, and they finally figured out how to get the water shut off. Unfortunately, it shut it off to our entire complex. Um, they're saying we lost like 500 gallons a minute. It was a huge 10-inch diameter pipe. Uh, wiped out a good part of our property, the pool, everything, uh, our landscaping. Then uh, the mud flowed over everything. We've got so much work just to clean this up. Uh, it's, it's just overwhelming to even think of that. And they still haven't fixed it. And so we have major conventions going right now and there's no bathrooms. Um, they can go next door to the travel center and we find found a way to get water to the toilets but the showers are down in the travel center. We get about 100 truckers a day that go through there taking baths and showers. We're one of the biggest centers around that take does that service for the truckers. Um, and I was hoping to get a, get a nice bath tonight, you know, some hot water and Epsom salts, the only thing that helps me with my soreness. Um, but it don't look like it's gonna happen. I've been dealing with some very angry truckers today. Uh, we are all very overwhelmed. A lot of them were down in the basement working on things. Our entire basement, all of our boilers, all of our equipment, it just totally flooded out. Um, I literally couldn't get the stuff. Um, and, and like I said, you know, we've got all these hotel rooms. We're booked out and there's no water. It's shut off. People are very upset. Um, we take this stuff very seriously here. I mean, we, we show up at their room door if they want their air conditioner adjusted. I mean, we are a, 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 we, we provide a lot of service here to our guests. So to not have water, that's just something that's not acceptable. Um, but so you got your guests, you got your people in the banquet rooms are very upset. You got your truckers. I've been dealing with this all day long and just apologizing is all we can do. We've got, there's gotta be 30, 40 guys involved in this now. Uh, we've got all kinds of these underground walkways. They're going through looking at pipes, trying to figure things out. Uh, but now the flood, the flood has stopped for the most part. Um, we're realizing all the damage as the water subsides to that, but they still haven't fixed the problem. Now there's no water and now people are really getting angry. So um, it was a tough day. It was a tough day, and I'm praying to God somehow tonight they figure this out, and I come back tomorrow and the water's on. Uh, I'm working the, tr the travel center. I was 30, 40 feet in the air most of the time, uh, at least in the early day, or earlier today, and then I found a bunch of very bizarre electric issues, and it shut those circuits down. Don't know how they were even working. Uh, and then I just had to get off the lift because I had to deal with all this stuff. Uh, our guys are running ragged. At the same time, the golf cart I usually drive broke down they're trying to fix that today and they're not having any success for the last few days they've been trying to fix it and it's an electric golf cart to me it's like you change the motor you change the motor controller you change the batteries there ain't much more to it but something crazy going on so uh you know we got guys that are used to at least having a golf cart with their tools and we're running around on foot and it's a big property 500 acres so uh intense intense is all I can say. I'm okay. Somehow God sustained me today and I want to thank you all for your prayers. 
I've got a lot of questions, and I don't know, you know, this place and how it is in retrospect of ministry. I'm so exhausted, I can't, I'm not even going to talk about it, because I can't even think straight, and I don't want to just start blabbing and getting angry. You know, God is definitely doing ministry here, and uh, at the same time, you know, there's work and stuff, but uh, I don't make a lot of money here. I've got a really good crew. I really like my boss. There's some very good people here. Uh, it's amazing because most of them aren't Christians, but they're more ministry-minded than most people I know. I mean, they're, people show up here because it, it just attracts people, homeless from all over, truckers, you name it. And they really try to help them. They don't just call the police. We take time and try to get these guys to get in the right direction. I've never seen a place that that, that is that, that dedicated to, to people, especially when they're really not customers. They're costing us. They're not, we're not making any money off them. So uh, ju just pray, brothers and sisters. That's what I'm asking for. Uh, my car is starting to do some very funny stuff. It's like missing. I looked it over. Can't figure out what's going on with that yet. Um, but I don't need to drive much. I use it to go over to Walmart to get things here and there. I, uh, you know, I can walk across the street. That's not a big deal. The only reason I take the car sometimes is, you know, I'm taking some clothes or something back and forth. We do get uniforms at work, which is a blessing because I don't have to do as much laundry because, man, I, I get dirty, I tell you. Uh, today, I, I really was hoping for a, a, to sit in a tub for a while. It really helps with the pain a lot, but I'm just sticky and, and stuff, and I'm going to have to get some wipes or something and try to clean myself off the best I can. Um, I miss you all. I miss you very much. Um, I'm not even sure what to say. You know, I, I'm glad I've got a job that's providing. I'm glad that uh, I'm useful. You know, I got some of these emails and, and texts from people. That's not the issue, but... You know, it's amazing working this hard and coming home this sore. And then I studied the Word of God. It basically said, this is all going to burn. This isn't even that important. You know, what's important is eternity, the kingdom of God. And that just keeps going through my head. And I know I'm not going to get all weird with you guys on it. But, you know, I go serve God out on the streets. I'll go 16, 18 hours. And I'm energized. I'm going. I go into this place within a couple hours I'm exhausted I'm mentally burned out and uh, I'm having a really hard time keeping going I'm, I'm you know not gonna sit and threaten to quit and stuff I'm trying the best I can um, but I'm getting hit with all kinds of stuff uh, the stuff with my hands I'm trying to work that out right now taking some supplements doing a lot of stretching like every 10-15 minutes I stop and I shake my hands out and I do different stuff and it got me through today they did lock up a few times, but it wasn't where I got stuck in the air or nothing, praise God. Um, and my boss has just been very cool, probably because he has no choice right now. He is so buried. That poor guy, uh, he's been doing like 18-hour days here. He's hardly seeing his family. He runs home, and the phone rings, and he's back. The, this last week has just been insane. I, I don't know how anyone is doing it. I really don't. Um, I come over here and I know as soon as I lay down, either someone's going to bang on the trailer and I've got to deal with the situation here, kind of doing a security thing here, um, or I'm going to get called back across the street because something's just going to get that crazy that they need me over there. And uh, it's pretty tough. It's pretty tough. So uh, just, just keep it in prayer. I'm... Um, I'm looking for some rest, that's for sure. I've been here now just, today is the second day over one month. Yesterday was my one month, and I feel like I need a major vacation already. I've never seen a place like this. This is uh, really tough. But uh, God bless you all. Thanks for watching. I love to hear from you. Keep praying, keep praying, keep praying. Bye-bye now.